guys, it's Asha. Welcome back to Reading with Toby. Today, I finally have a video for you guys. I have some time to sit and film a couple videos for you all. I feel like I haven't filmed anything in forever. It has been very busy and a little stressful. I'm currently in the process of interviewing for residencies. Um, so it's just very stressful. <laughs> um, I haven't been doing a lot of reading because I've been so stressed, but that's okay. I have been buying books because I've been so stressed. It's something that I like to do. And yeah, I have a lot of books here. These are all from the last book haul that I made, which I think was in August. So this is all August till now. And I don't plan on buying any more books for the rest of the year because Christmas is coming and I asked for some books for Christmas. So I'm gonna try not to buy any books uh, for the month of December. So this is the last book haul for 2020, which is exciting because I think we're all ready for this year to end. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I tried to separate them into some sort of category that made sense. I also tried to decorate a little for Christmas with this like weird um, thing that my mom has. <laughs> it lights up, but I couldn't find any batteries for it. Anyway, so I tried to separate the books into some sort of category that made sense in my head. We have a lot and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to give a good synopsis, you know, the gist of how it goes. So let's get started. So this first tag here are all new releases that have come out this year. A lot of them have come out pretty recently, I'm pretty sure. Okay, first one we have here is The Harpy by Megan Hunter. This one definitely came out this month because I went and bought it. This book sounded so interesting to me and I'm currently reading it. I don't have a bookmark in place, but I'm about halfway through. And this is like a horror fairy tale. That's kind of how it was pitched. And you're basically following this woman who finds out that her husband is cheating on her and they come to an agreement that she can hurt him three times but I think it's gonna take a really dark, sinister turn and has some like horror body changes. The title kind of tells you, but yeah, I'm really liking it so far. It's really interesting. Um, it hasn't gotten to the super dark weird. It is weird, but it hasn't gotten to the super weird stuff. So I'm really curious where it's gonna end. So we have that one there. I don't know where I'm gonna put them when I finish. Okay, next is the Owl Crate edition of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I did an unboxing of the Owl Crate box, which I will link for you guys. Um, the box itself I liked, but the edition of the book, I'm not really a fan of. I'm kind of disappointed. I wish they painted the edges. I mean, I just feel like this looks like it's missing its dust jacket instead of like, it's supposed to be so pretty without it. I feel like it, it looks like it's missing it. That's me, that's my That's my opinion. But <laughs> I'm super excited about this. I'm sure like all of us uh, by V.E. Schwab. I don't really need to say more, but yes, I am excited about it. The only cool thing is that it is signed. It is signed. So there we go, definitely excited about that one. Maybe I can get to it by the end of the year. I don't know, we're coming up close. <laughs> All right, next is Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. Of course, another anticipated release. Obviously, all these are otherwise I would have bought them, but super excited about this one because this is a, a pre-colonized Colombian inspired fantasy and that's all I know about it and I'm really excited to read it. I love me some um, fantasy that's not like your typical medieval set in like England, old England. Um, yeah i want a little bit something else going on so i'm really really excited about this one and i really like the cover it's really different and you have a nice map in the inside and she's black underneath so there is that one next super um, anticipating this book this is daddy by emma klein i picked up the uk edition because i just love this cover this is what the us edition looks like it's really boring but I just love covers that have a like uh, photograph like this and then just the huge text. I really love that. Um, but yes, this, I have no idea what it's about. It is a collection of short stories, but she wrote another book called The Girls, which came out a few years ago and I absolutely loved it. I loved her writing. She's like really young, so it was really impressive. Um, she kind of took the writing world by storm. So I said, any, anything she ever publishes, I will buy. So. This was the next thing that she published and I will be reading this before the end of the year. That's my goal. Oh, Toby brought his toy. <laughs> sorry, Toby. I can't play with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait. <laughs> All right, next. I don't think I've shown this in a um, haul yet, but this is Home Before Dark 
by Riley Sager. This is the book of the month edition. My last pick, actually I think I did show this in my last haul now that I'm talking about it. But this was my last uh, book of the month um, pick. I ended my subscription with them, but I was happy to find or to pick up this one because this is another anticipated release. I wasn't able to get to it in October. So I guess next year sometime. All I know this is a haunted house uh, story, which I'm all about and I really love the bright green so there's that one next is uh to sleep in a sea of stars by christopher Paolini. i think that's how you say it so this book i actually didn't see anyone talk about it when i bought it i just randomly picked it up at the bookstore and i was doing some shopping the cover caught my eye it's gorgeous and then the um oh the end page is really pretty but the little synopsis sounded so interesting so i went ahead and picked it up all it says it's about uh during a routine survey mission um kira finds an alien relic um but a war erupts among the stars she's launched into a galaxy spanning odyssey of discovery and transformation first contact isn't at all what she imagined and it says, while Kira faces her own horrors, Earth and its colonies stand upon the brink of annihilation. That just sounds so good. Um, but yeah, since I've purchased it, I have seen that spine is so pretty. I have seen some people on booktube talk about it. That's what it looks like. So, and this is also the author of Aragon, which I did read the first book, Aragon, a long time ago. I didn't read any more of that series. I did like Aragon, but I can't remember anything about his writing style. But yeah, I'm super excited. This just sounds excellent. And it's a nice chunky sci-fi okay next we have these violent delights by micah never never i'm not sure how you say his last name but this was uh, another anticipated release it sounded amazing it was pitched as a dark academia and the secret history meets call me by your name um two books i have not read but <laughs> the vibe of those sounds amazing i love dark academia uh call me by your name is one of my favorite films of all time so super excited about this and i have read it and i absolutely loved it i gave it five stars you're following two boys in the 70s who fall in love and things just take a really really dark turn it's a very like obsessive and dark relationship and it was incredible the writing is incredible i definitely recommend it if you are looking for your next dark academia so good it isn't a really chunky book and the writing is like a little more difficult you have to work a little bit but if you like books that make you think and you like dark themes dark academia definitely recommend it. this book was incredible so that one the last book in this little section is my most anticipated release of 2020 you guys probably already know but the fires of vengeance by evan winter i am currently reading this i know i'm still reading it i haven't finished that's how stressed i've been i haven't been able to focus on reading but i'm almost done yes this is the sequel to the rage of dragons which i read in march absolutely loved so i was highly anticipating the second book and yes i'm enjoying it so far but yeah i've just been stressed so i feel like i haven't been able to fully get into the world but this is an african inspired fantasy and tao is basically on a quest for revenge you have dragons yes there's a military aspect to it it's really good definitely recommend if you haven't heard about it yet or read it yet definitely recommend picking it up all right the next little stack we'll do are some books that i picked up at various used bookstores first one is dig by as king i'm not sure what this one's about but i have seen a lot of people talk about this especially kayla from books and lala she loved this book and i have read an as king before i read everybody sees the ants and i really like that book um but yeah i'm really curious about this i heard it's uh there's some talk about like racial tension um in this i think it takes place in the south if i'm correct but yeah i'm really excited about this i'm not usually too interested in ya but this one caught my eye so i'm very excited about that and i found it at a really good price i also found this beautiful edition the penguin hardbound classic edition which i think i want to start collecting these um for my classics on my bookshelf because i do have the picture of dorian gray in this same edition and it is just gorgeous i have read dracula i had to read it in high school and it was one of those books where I felt like I would have liked it more if I wasn't forced to read it, but I remember enjoying it enough. So I kind of do want to reread it to see how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, it is kind of a thicker book. The version I had in high school was not like this big. 
so I don't know. I do, I do not remember it feeling like a long book, but apparently it is. I also found the new Wilderness by Diane Cook. Um, I was super excited to find this because this was one of the books that was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize that I actually wanted to read. So I was really happy to find this at a good price. And I just know that this is following like a mom and a daughter and they're in uh, and the world is like very polluted and they decide to leave the city because it's uh, very dangerous to their health. And so they leave the city and they, I think they join this kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This community out in the wilderness and yes i don't know it sounds good i'm curious and then i also found ninth house by lee bardugo i have already read this and i actually really enjoyed this book i know a lot of people didn't like it but i loved it i thought it was great and i'm super excited for the second book whenever it comes out but yeah i do already own this book but it's in the book of the month edition and when i saw this at the used bookstore for a really good price i decided to pick it up so that when i buy the rest of the books in the series i'm probably gonna i am gonna buy it in like a hardcover edition so now i can match whenever i buy the rest of them but yeah i'm sure most of you guys know what this is about too another dark academia fantasy um a girl can see ghosts and yeah it was just really good and there's like all these houses and they all have like different magical powers and i took out all these receipts and i loved it i thought it was so good oh, and i love the shiny snake on the cover and then the last book at the used bookstore so when i went to one of the used bookstores if you spent more than ten dollars then you could get a free arc and they had like a little section full of arcs so i just picked up this one because it sounded good it is the night always comes by willie blotton um i'm not sure when it comes out or when it came out it just says indie next nominations due to 2021 i don't know but I just read the first page and it was very like haunting and strange. It was like this lady was waking up with some man like pulling her leg out of bed and she was telling him to stop. <laughs> and then I read the actual thing and it's like she has a brother who is mentally challenged and she is like trying to get out and um, buy her own house. And then apparently it's like all these uh, people keep trying to stop her, but it's like very dark and about greed. I, I don't know, it just sounded really good and different, so. I'm curious it's a little short um book so i'm excited about it right that's that little section now we'll quickly move on to uh just like the next three books i didn't really know what category to put them in they're just kind of random books that i picked up so i will just start with those so the first one is getting in the ninth by tasman muir this book i have like had my eye on i just wasn't sure if i would like it i kept seeing it it kept like catching my eye but then i was at books a million um doing some book shopping and I saw this edition with the really pretty black edges and I didn't know they sold that at Books A Million. So I just grabbed it when I saw it and I love the little skull on there. So I just know this is like lesbian necromancers. I heard there's like a competition. It sounds really, it sounds like I'm gonna love it. The second book recently came out, so I'm excited and I really just love the black edges. <laughs> and then I picked up uh, The Devil All The Time by Donald Bray. Pollock. This is recently a movie on Netflix, a horror movie, but I saw Paperback Dreams. Her and her dad did a video and they both rated this five stars. They both really loved it and it sounds like my kind of horror, small town, dark people, not necessarily paranormal, paranormal horror, just like messed up people, which is more up my alley. <laughs> so I'm super excited about this one. It is kind of a thick book though so we'll see when i read that one hopefully soon then the last book in this little section is call me by your name by andre ackman so like i said this is one of my favorite movies of all time i love this film it's like oh i think it's just like perfect it was like perfectly filmed soundtrack's amazing acting is incredible just a, an incredible film so i feel like i have to read the book since i love the movie so much so i picked it up and i actually don't like the movie cover edition and it's so hard to find the not movie cover edition so i searched and i found uh barnes and noble had it it was like super low stock so i picked it up because i really like this edition i know it's like has mixed reviews some people don't like it um i know there's like some weird scenes in here but i'm so curious about it i think i may like it we'll see all right the last little stack i put them are like school themed academia not necessarily dark academia but just some academia books set at some sort of school setting. I realized I had a ton of them, so I put them in a little category. All right, the first one is another one that I actually picked up at a used bookstore, but this is Real Life by Brandon Taylor. 
and I have been wanting to read this but I was holding off because I wanted the UK edition because I think it's really pretty and that cover reminds me of A Little Life. Anyone else? <laughs> but yeah, I don't really like this edition but I saw it for a good price at the used bookstore so I went ahead and picked it up and I just know this one you're following. What is he majoring in? I know he's majoring in some sort of science biochem degree which call my eye um yes he is at college he takes biochem degree and i think it's really focusing on him being black and queer and his confrontations and what it's like being a majority white class and yes i haven't heard like one bad thing about this book so i'm very excited about this one the next one i also found at the used bookstore i was so excited i couldn't believe i found it it's catherine house by elizabeth thomas i've been wanting to read this it's definitely a dark academia super weird book again mixed reviews i'm not really sure what it's about i just know this girl goes to a strange school like boarding school and i think i'm gonna love it i really i like weird books and dark academia so very excited about this one all right the next one is a new release it is huge that's plain bad heroines by emily m danforth this is another anticipated release because it sounded so good some of my favorite things horror school setting but the thing that caught my attention i don't know if it's going to be on here oh it says an original horror comedy centered around a cursed new england boarding school for girls and um it's a wickedly whimsical celebration of the art of story storytelling sapphic love and the rebellious female spirit so sounds amazing um there are like illustrations and i think it's told in kind of a kind of strange way or a little bit different Either way, I'm very excited about this book. Definitely gonna pick this up soon because I keep thinking about it and I keep thinking I'm gonna love it even though it's it's huge. And it's like that really thin paper. So it is over 600 pages. So there we go. <laughs> oh, my stack of books. I'm surprised. I've been able to stack them all and they haven't fallen over yet. We'll see if I can do it. Two more books. Okay, the next one is another new release and it's gorgeous Waterstones um, special edition. I just had to get it because it's just too pretty. This is another one that just caught my attention because it said boarding school and it was like a mystery. It isn't, so you're following at Montvert, an exclusive academy tucked away in the mountains. The best and brightest are trained for excellence in the Grand Jeu, an arcane and mysterious contest. And then you're following like two different characters, Leo and Claire, but it says they built their lives on lies. And as the legendary midsummer game draws closer, secrets are whispering in the walls. And the little tagline says, if everything in your life was based on a lie, would you risk it all to tell the truth? I don't know, it just sounds good. And like, I wonder what's going on. And she also wrote another book that came out last year called The Binding and it has a similar cover and it's gorgeous as well. So I also wanna read that one, but I had to get this edition because not only is the cover gorgeous, spine is gorgeous the end pages are gorgeous but look at the book underneath oh my gosh stunning stunning beautiful love it so i love that i had to get that edition i really want to get with really pretty uh, sprayed edges the binding because the binding also if you get it from the uk has a really cool um, hardback design as well but they're sold out but i'm gonna find it <laughs> all right the last book is of course the one book i have to have if we're talking about academia books secret history by donna tart um yes i love dark academia and i have yet to read this so i picked it up this is uh again a uk edition i got this off book depository and i just i need to i need to get to it you're following a group of pretentious people at a school and there's a murder of course they're so finding out who did it so very excited about this one again another book that i don't think i've heard like one bad thing about all right guys those are all of the books i'm not going to try to pick them up because there are a ton but i hope you guys enjoyed this haul let me know if there are any books that you guys are interested in that you think i'm gonna like that you think i should read next or that you now want to pick up i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye